the impulse is acting this is what theta let's get into the thing now uh, this impulse so shall, shall will it impart any linear momentum as it is so there are two components are there no we'll, we'll resolve that component one j cos theta and there will be j sin theta so this j sin theta what it does it will press the spear very hard into the ground anyway it's a rigid body so here the normal contact which is acting suddenly the normal contact will increase no and because of that what happen we'll get here a jy so what is jy ny into delta t and here normal contact was acting and when this are uh, there what happen n equal to mg so what happens here uh, the n is balanced by mg that one when you apply this impulse the j sin theta will try to press hard the spear to the ground and because of the normal contact will suddenly will increase so that ny into delta t will become jy and that is telling that jy is not greater than mg into delta t so what all that impulse is acting is not sufficient to lift the spear up the ground so what what does it mean though impulse acted the spear will not lose contact from the ground that was the bracket term able to get no this is the meaning of that oh, it's okay fine now and uh, now this j cos theta what it will do it will pull the it will impart momentum let's let's get into the thing now so it will impart momentum v not any other uh, things will happen it will also set up angular impulse no angular impulse will be set up and because of that it will acquire angular velocity how the various frictions that will be acting uh, now uh, at that instant only what will happen this will set up angular impulse and it will start trying to spin friction will act earlier what happen normal contact uh, normal contact because of this impulse what will happen this ny will increase and because of point p will have backward slipping so how you can say backward slipping i think uh, there is a torque no at least i think uh, there is a torque acting on it <coughs> there is a torque acting so it, it will set up a torque and because of torque open this point of point point of contact will try to slip backward so friction will act and uh, this particular friction is what happen f equal to mu n and suddenly normally acting even the friction will also increase so therefore an impulsive friction will come into picture so what all situation so here only i have to show that impulsive friction everything i have to show it here only then under action of all this the resultant is what we are having here now uh, what is uh, j sin theta jy is equal to jy should be equal to j sin theta what is jf equal to mu jy impulsive friction this is jy is what j sin theta then what is the net impulse acting on the rigid body along x axis it should be equal to j cos theta plus jf should be equal to mv not then uh, what about the angular impulse angular impulse setup is j into r minus jf into r should be equal to ic omega not this is the angular impulse sir so like a impulsive friction all such things will occur simultaneously and uh, now do we know jf as mu j sin theta so what is the theta given that 7 degrees so mu also we know so let, let's directly write the value mu is 1 by 3 j is how much mv not 
sin 37 3 by 5 so what is the JF is equal to okay let, let me write J only here so where all JF is there I'll write J by that one so substituting first let, let me write solve it one by one here oh, no J cos theta cos cos 37 4 by 5 JF j by phi is equal to mv naught j equal to mv naught is what i'll conclude here now. next again here j into r jf is j by phi r uh, there's a solid sphere no so 2 by phi mr square omega naught j 4j by phi Phi gets eliminated, so J equal to MR omega naught by 2. There's the equation 1, equation 2. Now I'll check it. I'll check it all. So is it a <coughs> forward or backward stepping? So equating 1 and 2. Uh, please try to see this. There's a the concept. Uh, you know next what to do. Don't bother. Next you know we'll apply conservation of angular momentum about point P then then solving that will get the required answer but there's a core idea a student must analyze here so how do i come to know impulsive friction will act or not i think you should be careful enough with the situation here no if uh, why earlier previous problem no impulsive friction because the component of j sin theta will push hard normal reaction will suddenly increase and since there is also slipping of this point friction is acting so the friction will also suddenly will have a large magnitude so that, that's not impulsive friction now how the friction will act now impulsive friction is what first we brought it I'll, I'll, let's keep like this huh? let's get into the thing now so equating 192 j is equal to mv naught equal to mr omega naught by 2 so v naught equal to r omega naught by 2 so what is the velocity of point p backward or forward i think v naught is less than r omega naught no so velocity of point p is backward here so therefore how the friction will act and finally it will attain pure rolling I'll, I'll, I'll bring that the situation what we are and finally it retain pure rolling so what is our question what what, what is being asked find the velocity when it attains pure rolling What you should call this forward or backward slipping? Backward slipping. A previous topic, what I discussed, I think th this is a little bit different here. So don't try to generalize now. Everywhere like this only, I think. No. You should apply conservation of angular Well, find the velocity of center point sphere just after impulse is applied. Now, what is J is equal to? What is the value of j? j is equal to m v naught, no? So what is the velocity of the sphere just after impact? Equal to v naught only. Oh, symbols j m v naught is given, no? I'll, I'll change symbols huh? because he's asking and slightly I'll change symbols because
let's get into okay what is our question now we will answer all the things one by one let's get into question find the velocity of center of mass of sphere just after impulse is applied so what is v1 j is equal to mv not substitute v1 equal to v not find the angle of sphere just after the impulse is applied v not by r to v not by r and now finally when it attains po rolling finally when it attains po rolling so I, I, I let me find out that also after what time it will attain po rolling this everything happened at t equal to 0 what is the time taken for it to attain po rolling check it that can you apply so it will be lpzi i will leave it you, you solve it so what is our answer so v1 equal to v0 and Substitute v1 equal v0, you'll get omega 1. So 2 v0 by r and v0.